welcome back to my channel how is everyone doing today i have another tutorial for you guys today and i found this picture on pinterest and i'm gonna pop it in so you guys can see it right now and as you can see she has a cat eye with a berry tone blush and a red lip and if you've been following me you know that i've done very few looks on here where i have a red lip and i wanted to get something that you guys can actually go and purchase so nonetheless, we're going to start with the face today. Typically, I start with the eyes, but since the eyes are so simple, I thought we'd start with the face first. So I want to try out and see if this foundation is what's creasing or if it's the primer that I've been using, the Ultra Glow one for Urban Decay. I do apologize. A motorcycle went by. So anyways, we're going to go in with this um, foundation base tape. From Tarte, and this is the hydrating primer. And I like to use hydrating primers because I have very dry skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the two combinations. It's very liquidy of uh, foundation that I used the last time. And this one I can put on my forehead. I've used it before and I do like it. I just want to um, use up, you know, the samples that I have before I go and buy a whole bunch of different primers. I'm going to try to really stick to having... You know, just essential stuff that I like. I don't want to have 20 of everything because... Oh, let me get my arm because I'm shaking the camera because that defeats the purpose of doing a decluttering. And this smells like coconuts. I don't know if it has coconuts in it, but I love how it feels on the skin. If you're someone that has dry skin and you just want to pop something on your face, you know, I highly recommend this, this stuff is nice and it actually comes in a nice little the packaging is really nice i'm going to show a picture for you guys to see that so we're going to mix these two foundations the fenty pro filter one the reason i mix it is because the shade 260 is way too light on me and this shade sand 70 is a little bit too dark so i'm going to put one pump of the fenty and then um one pump of the um the l'oreal one so before I mix some, let me show you real quick. So that is the Fenty 260. See how light it is? That's way too light for me. I think that shade would be better for someone who is like a NC30 maybe, NC35. I'm an NC40 in MAC. Um, and this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. Now, what I'm suspecting that it might be the foundation and not the actual primer. Because when I use the Pat McGrath, with the ultra glow ultra glow primer i didn't have an issue so i'm thinking it might be this foundation so that's it right there the dark one right here that's the l'oreal one so i'm just gonna mix them together and then i'm gonna put them on my face now i did buy a little plate specifically to do this but i don't know where i have it i have been looking for it and i'm wondering if maybe i decluttered it and i you know Gave it away um, when I did my cleanup. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. So I'm just going to wipe my finger and I'm going to leave my hand as is because I might need more product. I don't think so, but just in case. So I have to mix more. Let me just wipe my fingers because I don't want to make a mess. And we're going to go with my Ulta Beauty Precision Foundation Brush. I really like this blush. This blush brush. This brush a lot. I put too much on my chin. Okay, I'm going to lift up my arm because I'm bouncing this table for some reason like i still think that even mixing them together like I, I put too much of the fenty one because for me it's looking a little you know ashy now if you guys hear anything in the background i do apologize that is my fan it is hot in my room i had to close my window because it is very adventurous outside to say the least Okay, so that's what it looks like when you mix the two together. I look very shiny and dewy, which is not bad. So that's that combination 260 from Fenty Beauty. This is the matte one. And this is Sand 70 from the L'Oreal H Perfect Radiant Serum. Um, so we're going to test this out and see if it's actually the foundation that caused the creasing and the lifting and all that. And not the Urban Decay Primer. So I want to start with the face. 
So what's the next step? Um, the next step is we're going to put concealer. And you guys already know I'm going to go with my two holy grails, which is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer NW30. And we're going to use the Buffing Concealer Brush from Ul Ulta Beauty. Um, I had a thing for a minute. I was going to say something else. And I'm just going to show you here. Now, back in the day, this is how I used to do my makeup. I would always start with my, um, what's that called? My face. And then I would do my eyes. But then I learned to do my eyes first and then my face because we get, you know, fallout. So there's that. I think that's good. Um, excuse, like, my eyes look a little puffy and a little darker right now because I've only had three hours of sleep. Oh, sorry. That was a very light snap. So now we're going to go in with the Jue Dulce de Leche. You guys know how I feel about this. I love this stuff. And I was thinking the other day, I'm like, Eva, what, is this going to run out on you? I hope it doesn't run out on me unexpectedly. Like, I'll know beforehand because I've had this almost a year now, I think. Anyways, so we're going to buff that out. I need to look in a closer mirror and using the same brush. And I got to prop my arm. I really hope this doesn't move. I really need to figure out a way to do this where I don't move, you know, anything. And the other thing that I did notice when I use the foundation that we're really testing out again today is that it really caused this thing to like be very that's what I'm looking for. Like it glides a lot. And because it does that, that could be why too. Like if something is too emollient, I'm going to use a real techniques brush. I'm going to go into Lyric. If something is too, has too much moisture in it, too emollient, whatever word you want to use, it can cause slippage. And I think that could be one of the reasons why this um, foundation is doing what it's doing. Now I like to go and do one eye and then the next, the next eye. Sorry, I dropped something. I do apologize, that was loud, and then we're gonna go with the Jouer, same brush, and set that. So that is a tip for you. Always do one eye and then move on to the next eye. Minimize creasing. Now, if you are older or you just have naturally, you know, creases under your eyes, then you can only minimize so much. Another motorcycle for you guys. I'm trying to make light of the situation because in all honesty, it's very frustrating. I'm going to do the other eye. When you are going to film, you're like all gung-ho, ready to go. You set up. And setting up is not easy for most of us because we don't all have a separate room to film. And I'm filming my bedroom, you know. And then you're ready to go. You press play, you know, record. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden you hear the vroom, lyric again. Or you hear the er, er, or people da -da 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 -da, talking and yelling and the backing up and the car alarms and you're just like really did you just save this up for me you know so it's it's frustrating it's aggravating especially you know if this is when you can do something but i'm learning to not do that to not allow my frustrations get the better of me and we're gonna go enjoy it again and i'm sweating but that's okay good thing about these lights is that they're hot you lose some pounds doing this. Now, can you see how flawless that looks? Don't look at how puffy my eyes look or how you can still see a little darkness. That's to be expected when you've only had three hours of sleep. Because I don't know what's going on with me, but my sleep has been horrendous. Like, really, really bad. And, yeah, I think that looks good. So I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to bring it down with no extra part of hair over my eyes and my cheeks. And the reason I've been doing that lately is because my glasses rest right here. And <clears throat> my glasses always pick up a little bit of product. So yeah, that should that should help. I'm so not used to doing this. I feel like I'm doing everything back. I'm going with bronzer and I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs one. And this is the original shade that he first came out with. And this is the shade 102 Tantric. And this comes with a very big mirror. So that's awesome. Like, you know, you could do your whole face just looking at here. And we're going to use the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40, to apply that. And I saw that on his site. He has now um i think it's two more shades because then he came out with the coconut one you can see right there and i don't know if the coconut one is the same color as this one 
because I have not tried it. But then I saw that he has a deeper tone one. Um, I don't know the name of that one. I'll put, you know, as I'm talking, I'll say the names um, with a bubble for you guys. Uh, but this is the one that I've used and I do like it. I like it a lot and I haven't used it. And I'm like, Eva, why aren't you using this bronzer? You used up the little one. Well, I should say I tried the little one out, the little sample size, and then I got rid of it. I donated it and I was like, okay, now I'm going to get the bigger one. And the, the way I got this one is because my friend Jessica, hi Jessica, she gave me a gift card and I bought this one on my birthday. It was a birthday gift card. Um, not recently, but yeah, she gave that to me. So we're going to do this side. We just got to go slowly so the camera doesn't move. And so I saw that he has more shades, but I'm sad to say when I looked online, because I saw that he's having a big sale and I was like, okay, why can't I find a lot of things? I wasn't seeing things like, you know, being restocked. And when I Googled, if it's discontinued, um, I believe that Mark Jacobs Beauty from the tweet that I saw, let me get this this way, is not going to exist anymore. They're going to discontinue. And I was like, no, that's so sad because the bronze, not only the bronze are what I'm trying to say, but his uh, blushes are really nice. I have yet to try any of them, but from watching other people's videos, I'm like, wow, that's really pretty. Oh, I gotta grab my arm again. Oof, sorry about that. I have to hold my arm this way because if I do it on the table, it's gonna shake and you guys are gonna be like, if you're like me and you have vertigo, all the shaking, you, you, you're gonna get triggered and you're not gonna be able to watch this video. So anyways, um yeah so they're gonna discontinue them my jacobs i'm like no so like his mascara is really good i don't know if you guys have tried it um the foundation i used up the, like half of it not all of it because the color changed on me so i had to get rid of it i don't keep my foundations past um even if i've my hair is crazy right now even if they have um let's say i have had it for six months the minute the foundation starts to separate, I don't like to keep using it because I don't want to break out on my face. I try to keep, you know, well, I don't use things that will cause me to break out. See how it shakes when I do that. So you see, it gives you like a nice little flush. And I like to go up and down to really blend it out. I like how it hollows out my cheek because I do have high cheekbones, but I really like that it does that. And... I attest like for my facial plans because of the steroids that I'm wanting. It fills in my face. And it gives me this little thing on the bottom. I was thinking I should go into those rollers to really like massage that because it's just excess fluid. It's not really um fat because you know steroids they swell you up. So I put the little plastic I didn't show it to you. Um container thingy back on it. It helps protect your product. So I, I need to really try to use more of my products that I have. So if you haven't tried anything from Mark Jacob, Jacobs and you want to try it, definitely hop on his page or go on Sephora. And stuff is amazing. His perfumes are really nice as well. I don't think his perfumes are being singled out. I think it's more just like the beauty stuff. So like the foundation, the powders, bronzers, highlighters, things like that. So um, if you haven't tried anything, just see what you can get. I don't think you'll regret it. So now that we did bronzer, now we're going to do blush. So since it's a berry tone blush, I was trying to figure out what blush I could use that I haven't worn on here. And I came up with the Blushing Bride from Tarte. Now it looks very intense, but I believe that they have reformulated it. Um, so I think that the Blushing Bride they have now isn't this intense and plus i've had this one for a while so i'm gonna go in with that same little brush that i got from amazon it's very pigmented so gradually build it up start on the apples and work your way and i love tart blushes if i didn't show you that they are very nice quality pigmented um i gave away most of my tart blushes i think i had almost every shade i think i put too much um but I got rid of the colors that I can't use. Like, I knew this one was still available. No extra product. I'm just buffing it into my face. And I decided to keep it because I do like their, their stuff. They have good stuff. I think that's good because I don't want to overdo it because we are doing a red lip. I just want it to look even. I don't feel like it looks even, so I'm doing this, all these faces. Okay, I think that's good. I think that looks perfect like hers and then we're gonna do highlighter 
one second i'm putting the protective film back on if you guys get your makeup keep those because they do preserve your product because i've had this blush for quite some time and it's still like if i just bought it yesterday is what i'm trying to say okay so now we're gonna do highlighter the highlighter that i'm gonna use today is from benefit and this is the cookie um highlighter jacqueline hill made this thing go viral everybody went crazy for it i used it i think one other time and i haven't used it again because i honestly forgot where i had it and then when i was going through my makeup i was like oh let me use this one to see what my thoughts are on it because i haven't used it enough to really see if i like it or not you know what i'm saying i don't really like this packaging the benefit does i feel like it's very cumbersome i prefer something where it's just you know more like this and that i can get to the product because literally the pan is like this and then you have this extra packaging so i don't like that already but nonetheless it comes with this little brush and i never use these brushes so you know so we're gonna go with the real techniques and we're just gonna go in and let me show you the color i don't think i showed it to you did i, I was too busy talking about the packaging so you guys can see now it's supposed to be like a gold but in my opinion it looks kind of pinky gold what do you guys think let me know so we're just gonna apply this got it on the brush and go to town because when I looked at the picture of the, of the young lady, I was like, oh, this kind of reminds me of when I use this color. I was like, it's like a gold. Like, it's very pigmented. I'm not saying it's not, but um, I don't know. I think it's nice, but I honestly think I prefer, um, you know, my other ones that I have, like my Anastasia and Reezy. But I can't use that really on camera unless I'm doing a nothing new on my face video. Sorry, that's dancing a lot. And I like my fuego. Let me hold my hand here. It's still shake. Let me hold my hand. Fuego and there's another one from Dosa Colors. Whisper of Guilt. Like I have a whole bunch of other gold ones that I like. This one's not horrible, but I think it's more for me the packaging that doesn't encourage me to grab because, like I said, it's very bulky. Look at that. I don't think I need more. Let me just put a little bit more and I'm gonna put a little here because the table started shaking. So, since we did everything backwards, we will spray the face when I'm done. So with no extra product, I'm just gonna try to melt that into the blush a little. Very tone blushes are really nice to wear. Like if you wanna just look like you have like a flush of color, I highly recommend them. One of my favorite favorite um very tone blushes is the one from nars it's called sin that was my very very first like this see this came with a plastic i will keep it in there because that's going to preserve my product and put everything back in um so definitely what i was saying oh the one from nars it's called sin that's one of my absolute favorite blushes i don't have it anymore because you know it just it was time to get rid of it i actually bought that blush it was my first expensive purchase ever from sephora i was hooked after that um i bought that day the star lip gloss from buxom and the sin blush from nars because i remember i went in and i got a um you know those makeovers because back then you could go in and they would do your makeup for free you didn't have to buy something Okay, you know how when you go in Sephora now, let's say you go in there, you say, excuse me, I'm looking for the cookie. Um, can you show me where the Benefit cookie um, highlighters? And they're like, okay. First of all, they won't say, okay. They'll, they'll look at you like, like, what do you want it for? Like, you don't you don't know how to make it up. Because I swear, everybody in Sephora now has like an attitude. I don't know what that's about. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know your Sephora stories down below. So they'll give it to you and they'll just hand it to you. They won't say to you, do you want to buy it, whatever. And then they walk away and then you're left holding the product and you feel like, oh, well, I can't put it back. So I'm going to have to buy it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not like before when you would go. I mean, this was like years ago. This is more than six years ago. And they would do your makeup and you had the option to purchase. It wasn't obligated. And another thing they used to do, I don't know if they do now because I don't really go into Sephora before like I used to. What am I doing? Eyes, we're doing eyes. So let me find my, hold on, let me grab this and I could talk and work at the same time. While I'm talking, I'm gonna put on the Fenty uh, Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer in Invisa, Invisa Pink and we're gonna buff it out with the buffing concealer brush. I don't know what that is. Can you guys hear that? 
it sounds like a frog like a frog dying so as i was saying let's put on the the fenty primer oh i think i'm gonna put too much we're just gonna buff it in um so yeah so back then you would buy products in sephora i don't like i said i don't know about now correct me if you guys know this or not and you would just go in and let's say if i bought like the palette i'm gonna use i bought it and i didn't know how to really use it or needed help with it i would just come and say hey but yeah i was wondering if you could help me out i bought the patrick star visionary palette and i was wondering if you could just create a look on on me because i'm trying to do this look and i'm not having any success with it they would have done it for you because my my friend when she used to work there i remember about this eyeshadow and i was like okay i'm not this palette i'm like it's, it's something something's up here it's not working for me i absolutely love this primer i've mentioned it before so now we gotta set that let me get my real techniques brush sorry about that i try to make as minimal no noise as possible and then the jewelry we're gonna set it um so i brought it in and i was like zoreda you know i don't know like these colors but oh i said to her in spanish like what what am i doing wrong so she created a look for me and then i was like oh it looks really pretty but then i ended up she ended up saying to me you know this palette why don't you get this one instead because this one doesn't it's not as pigmented but this one has the same colors and she went and recommended stuff for me and it didn't cost more it was literally the same price so i ended up exchanging it like that's the kind of customer service that i want when i go into sephora because like for instance i'm going to be trying a lot of new um products for you guys and let's say some of them don't work out for me uh i want to be able to go in sephora and be like you know can i just exchange it instead of mailing it out because it, it's just easy because i live close to a sephora you know what i mean but because of the attitude that the customers service people are in there it's like i'm not encouraged to go in there so we're going to use this palette again the visionary palette from one size i'm going to just use like two eyeshadows and then we're going to use the wing the eyeliner that he has that is for making um the cat eyes so we're going to use a sigma the e25 and we're going to go into this shade right here let me point it's called mango and we're going to put that all over the lid so that's something that i don't understand with hold on, put my, i gotta put myself closer hopefully i don't shake the table um that's what i don't understand when you go in it's like why are people have such a stank attitude and why do people look at you because you're not in there with a full beat like oh you don't know how to do makeup why you're here why are you wasting my time what if i'm coming in because i work for a makeup artist and they don't have time and they say hey eva can you run to sephora and pick this up for me oh my god look at the, can you guys see that shadow wow that's pretty and again these mass shadows they go on so smoothly and no skipping and no tugging i mean i'm applying that with with total ease you guys and you already know i have a hard time with my muscles so you know what i mean like i feel like it should be that way that if i go in there you shouldn't be judging me by the way that i look um or what i'm wearing because you don't know i could be a makeup artist you know what i'm saying like i think that that's this wrong and i don't understand that with customer service where people who work in customer service and they act like you're inconveniencing them and it's like excuse me but isn't this your job like i remember one time this is not about makeup but we're talking about customer service one time i was on the phone and i was talking to somebody it was about my was it my cell phone service or my cable service it was either my cell phone or cable service right um and the person was just not being caught at all. okay so that's the color mango i could just leave it like this and be done but i want to try another color just to you know mix it up so there's a color here called soft serve and we're going to go into right here with this brush the e35 right from sigma it's a blending brush now this brush oh this one's very soft so be careful when using it you get a lot of fallout so chat chat tap gently into it so this this brush i was trying to find it for you guys let me look Hold on. I'm trying to do this without placing my arm on the table because it's shaking it. So I need to get closer. So I was trying to find this brush for you guys because I do Pinterest boards for you. So I don't know if you guys check that out. In the description box, I was trying. Oh, I moved the thing. Sorry about that. I'm just tapping it in because this is a very soft eyeshadow and it's a lot of kick up. So 
I always try to do Pinterest board for you guys. So if you want a particular product or you want to know everything and you don't want to really read the description, you click on the Pinterest board and it'll take you to it and it'll literally have everything that I've used. I try to put everything. Um, sometimes I forget some things, but you guys can remind me to put stuff in there. So this way, if you want to find a brush I use or blush or whatever, it's all in one spot. You know, so I do two options. You can do the Pinterest board or you could just read what's in the description box down below. Okay. And I'm trying to do this without making it look so messy. So I'm literally just pl placing that brush in there. Do you see that? It's going on effortlessly. I'm doing very minimal. And I know I made a mistake there, but that was my own fault because I lost control of my arm. So like I was saying, I'm talking to the customer service and I'm explaining to them what I need. And you know, I'm very patient, very understanding person, but I felt like this person was just being rude and nasty to me. And then I was like, um, you know, this is your job. This is not my job. So why am I telling you how to do your job? Like, I shouldn't have to tell you how to do your job. You know what I mean? So that's it right there. Those are the two shades, mango and soft serve. Very pretty colors. I like that. So this palette working out very nicely for me so far. So now we got to do the eyeliner. Let me find that. Be right back. So here's the packaging. It's reverse. It's pink with red. Remember the black eyeliner, eyeliner used in my other video, it was red with pink. So it's really pretty. And this is called the Point Made 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And this is the shade Bodacious Black as well. I took it out of the packaging. And let me get my arms up. I need to put my arms up for this part because there's just no way I could do this far away. So this is the pen right here. And it's red. And what I already like is that it has this little thing where you can hold right here. And that's going to make it so much easier. So I'm going to have to get you guys closer so you can see what I'm doing. So let me do that. Hey, you guys. So here we are up close and personal. So this is the the eyeliner. And I already like how it has this where I can hold it steadily. So let's take the cap off. And already there's a little bit in there. But I think that's just because of the way I took it out. But as you can see, it's a very gradual. Sorry, my hands are shaking. Very gradual tip. And I don't think it's felt because if you know felt is firmer so i'm gonna know once sorry about that once i put it on my eye now i am not a professional at doing a cat eye. i have not done a cat eyeliner in i don't know how long so if this comes out disastrous remember we're just trying to review the product as well so pence got the pen <laughs> we have the liner i was gonna say the pencil okay so typically when I do this, I like to go, let me make sure this focused. Okay. So whenever I do this, I like to tilt my head back a little bit. And I kind of like just place it and go. Wow. Did you see that? That was so easy. So I'm going to focus more on lining my lashes and then we'll worry about the little wing, okay? Because this is the part that's hard, is getting them even. And I will be talking less here. And my lashes get in the way because my lashes kind of curl today for some reason. Usually my lashes are very straight. And already, I'm. my guess is this is a pencil because the way it is felt for me is a lot harder. I do apologize for any noises again. All right, we can always go in further off camera. I just really want you guys to see how smooth this is going on. And you can really see that cookie highlighter so now we're going to bring it up a little bit i do baby ones i don't do big ones because i'm not good at this 
So I'm already messing up. Okay, that should be good. Now we're going to try to connect it to everything else. <sighs> Exhale. Oh, wow. And now let's fill that in. We go any further. Really liking how easily this is filling everything in. And I did go over a little bit the one that I already did, and it did not take it off, which that typically happens for me when I have used um, liquid liners in the past. When you go over, it takes it off. That looks okay. I don't want to keep going and mess it up. That actually came out better than I thought. So now I'm going to do the other eye to match this one. Fingers crossed. So I will go in further off camera because I have to really, in the way I'm going to do it, you're not going to see. So I'm going to try to do this eye and pray that it comes out so you guys can see it. Because this is my left side and I'm not like a left handed. So we're going to at least try to do like the rip, you know, the lash base and maybe the wing. I'll do it off camera. We'll see. Let's get in here. And this looks so weird because the way I'm looking right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do this one off camera. But I have to say that even though I am not a lefty, that little bit went on really easily so this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna finish this eye off camera but you guys saw that i started it and pray that i can get it to look like this one and i will be back okay that looks terrible but we're gonna fix it later i would have cute it but this side came out perfect so as you can see the same thing happened to me back when i did a makeup look that i created with um that it was inspired by Kourtney Kardashian years ago. I will try to pop in a picture or link it down below. And it took me forever to do one. I had to keep taking off, put it back on. So it, for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it like that because it is what it is. I'll just fix it in a little bit with some uh, conceit with the concealer that I used earlier. But I'll do that off camera um, because I'm going to do mascara now. But this is so far so good. And I went in and I tried to reapply those areas that did dry out. And I didn't find that it um flaked off because that's something that does happen when you use liquid liner once it dries it flakes off if you try to reapply so so far so good i think er ergonomically it's very comfortable especially for someone who has a hard time with things so don't worry about it i'll fix it a little bit when we're done so i'm gonna go into um my eyes since we're close with this mascara and i've used it before and this is the lash um sensational curvitude i did a review on this as well um so yeah um my wand is a little wonky though what happened here like i didn't do that okay that's weird but we're gonna go with it because i don't have another mascara to do now so i'm just gonna turn it upside down and <laughs> this is real life these things happen but this is a mascara that i like quite a bit I mean, typically the the wand is not a, a mess, but yeah. I'm gonna try doing it this way to really get in there. And based on the picture, did she do her eye bottom lashes done? Yeah. I think that because of the way the wand is, it's not giving me the full effect. I don't know why that's so weird. I'm trying to straighten it out. That is bizarre. I don't know. I'm not having luck lately with these drugstore mascaras that I'm picking up. I don't know. Maybe they were just effective. Maybe that's why they were on sale. You know, because sometimes companies do that. Oh, so back to what I was saying about customer service. When I used to go to beauty school and then when I 
eventually became a teacher at the school that I went to. My boss, short little Italian man, he had a temper on him, okay? He would say, when you come in through that door, whatever chip you have, he's like, I don't care what it is, your problems you're having, whatever it is that's bothering you, he's like, you leave it there out the, the minute you walk through that door. Because when you come to work, almost got on my face, anywhere, your problems are not the world's problems. You know, so basically it was like, whatever chip you have, leave it out the door so that when you come in here, you can provide a service to people who are coming to get their hair done. Because, you know, when people get their hair done or go someplace for a customer service, like, you know, Sephora, places like that, we, you know, the consumer wants a positive experience. But if they go in there and you have an attitude and you act like that, guess what? They're not going to come back. So that's what he would tell people. And then he says, and then when you would go, then he would say, and when you go home, you, the chip will be right out there. You could pick it right up and do whatever you got to do once you leave from here. So let's do the bottom. We're not going to be putting any um, mascara, I mean, mascara eyeliner on the um, waterline, okay? Because I don't believe she has any, and if she does, it's a nude one. Um, but I don't, I don't feel like putting anything in my waterline. And I know I made a mistake. But like I said, it's the way this brush is right now. Typically, this mascara is not like this. So... That's just my advice to you. It's if you're having a bad day, okay. Have your bad day. But when you're at work, you can't really take it out on your customers, especially if you're working somewhere one that you like. And two, even if you're working somewhere that you don't really like, it's not the person's fault that's coming in for you to behave the way you're behaving. Let me get something to clean this little thing. Um, What am I gonna do? Okay, so to clean that up, I just used a smudger brush. I dipped it in a little bit of this micellar water. I poured some out and I cleaned up the edges. And then I went back in with my um, concealer brush that I used earlier, no extra product and just tap, tap, tap. Then I went with my Real Techniques brush and set it and we're good to go. So I'm gonna put this down. Since we're so close, I am going to Pop this on real quick on my lips because we are going to use a matte lip today. This is from MAC. This is the Prep and Prime. This stuff smells like vanilla. Oh, it smells. And tea. It's so nice on the lips. So I'm going to leave that on. But we're going to fill in our eyebrows since I'm this close. And put this down. So for the eyebrows, we're going to use a matte pencil. And this is the Velux Brow Liner in Velvet Stone. So we're just going to like outline the eyes. And then I'm going to fill it in with a different um, brow gel I keep meaning to use. I don't think I've used it on camera. Um, so after we do the brows, then I'm going to pop on my shirt, you know, the clothes that I'm going to wear. And then we will do the lip last. And I really need to clean up my eyebrows, I know that. But I'm going to leave them like that because... We need to tweeze them. So, yeah. So, it's important that, like I tell you, a golden rule. Treat people the way you want to treat you. If you don't want someone to call you, bad, say choice words to you, bad words, then don't use choice words or bad words towards that person. I remember one time I was having a conversation with someone, right? And, you know, it was problems in a relationship. And they were telling me and talking to me. And then I asked the person. I said, okay, so-and-so. So let me ask you a question. Would you have liked your significant other to have said those things to you? And right away, they were like, oh, no, I would never, ever. Like, they were totally against, you know, the person saying those things to them. So then I told the person, I said, so how do you think your spouse felt when you used those words? So we have the Anastasia, is this the dip brow gel? And this is the shade, I believe it's soft brown, right? Soft brown. I haven't used this on camera, I don't think, but I want to use it before it dries up because I'm afraid it, it might be drying up already. Yeah, I think this might be dried up, but we're going to try and see how it looks. Um, because her eyebrows look very 
soft and I wanted to use something because you know I I thought these this combination would be nice so definitely think twice before you speak because I even know those are you you know I know my eyebrows are crazy but we're gonna brush them out in a minute I think maybe a shade Ooh, I didn't mean to put that big gob if you use a shade lighter maybe it will be better I'll fix that in a minute with my brush. Okay, I made a huge mistake. Whoa, these are some Groucho Mark brows. Now I remember why I don't, I don't really put this on with a uh, liner. Where's the spoolie? There's a spoolie liner. Let's just brush that out. So keep that in mind. Treat people the way you want to be treated. I always say that because once you say something, you can't take it back. You know, and in reality, words hurt more than if somebody hit you. I mean, people shouldn't be hitting you, but I'm just saying as a comparison, let's say those of you who grew up um, and, you know, in the days, like if you're Spanish, you know, the chancla, you know how people do the, oh my God, these are so intense, these eyebrows, I need to really brush these out. You know, when people do the videos with the chancla, I, I laugh because, you know, in my house, somebody always, not my house, like particularly, I mean, like in the house that I lived in because I lived in a three- um apartment building someone was always getting in trouble you know it wasn't me i i knew better i was like i don't want to get a chunk back. so you know with that being said oh my god these eyebrows they are intense um i got a little lay on it so i was trying to clean it you guys um i'm sorry but there was a lot of noise and i just kept going my eyebrows i'm trying to fix them i put too much product so like i was saying don't treat people or talk to people in a way that you, a way you would not want to be treated. I need to brush these without any product on them because I remember now why I don't use the dip brow um, gel. I think the dip brow gel is good, but I need a shade that's definitely lighter because these are some intense brows. So we're just going to brush these out with the Benefit brush to really get them to not look so intense. So just be mindful of other people. Treat people the way you want to. I just don't understand how if you work, especially in customer service, where you are so rude to people because, you know, this is your job. And if you don't like your job, it's not the customer's fault. And I'm not saying that it's always, you know, you, the customer, the, the person who's working. Because sometimes I, I've seen customers go in and be extremely rude. Like I've mentioned before on my channel. Okay, I think I can't salvage that. I got to leave it the way it is. Um... You know, people just really go out of their way and be rude to other people. And I just don't think that's necessary. I really think that we should, especially now with everything that's going on, we should really do a lot more kindness. Okay, everyone. So we put on some jewelry. This is like my go-to when I wear a black top that I really like. Um, these are earrings from Victoria Wick from HSN. These are old. I've had them for a very long time. These are my go-tos. I absolutely love them. Um, she's a very well-known uh, jewelry designer. I absolutely love her stuff. And then I got on my silver bracelet from Jewel Mint I've had forever. And then I have the matching necklace as well. And I'm wearing my Daryl Dixon t-shirt that I got from Torrid. I am fixing in here. It's hot. I try to fix my hair as best as I could. I was trying to get it to lay like I did yesterday, but it's not cooperating. I think it's just because it's just too hot. So the lip that we're going to wear, which is the final step, you guys, and the setting spray. Well, hopefully I don't forget about that. Is from Fenty Beauty. If you guys didn't know, these are on sale. These are the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick. And this is the shade called Madame. Not Madame. Madame. So it's a red, like I mentioned earlier. So this is the packaging right here. I love how small this is. Like this is like perfect to put in your purse. And it's very lightweight. And I love like the shape of it and the coloring. It's very, very pretty. Um, so let's pop it open. This is the first time me using a Fenty lip product. So here is the bullet right here. I don't know if you guys can see that's embossed with FB on it. So it's the first time we're going to use it. And I'm just going to grab a mirror. And I just want to kiss off that. Make sure my lips are not uh, too slippery. To apply this so i'm going to just use the same mirror the mirror of the blush that i use and yeah oh wow
Don't you love how I said I got a mirror to do and I end up using the phone. So let me just see how it looks real quick because I think I might have gone over my lip a little too much on the top. This is giving me vibes uh, of the shade that she came out with with MAC. It was called Riri Wu. I didn't get to get one of them for myself. Let me do the bottom. Wow. I shouldn't have done the corners of my mouth because I feel that now it looks messy. I'm not great at applying red lipstick. That is a beautiful shade. Let me clean up the outside. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So this is the red lip. I know I made a mistake here and here. But for a matte, this feels really, really nice. Very beautiful color. I am looking forward to trying out more shades. Um, from Fenty Beauty. I really do like Fenty Beauty as a whole um, line. I'm really trying to get more from her brand because I don't have a lot of Fenty Beauty and I don't have a lot of other companies that I just dirty the lip thing so I'm going to try to wipe it because um, I don't. I like to keep my makeup clean. I don't know if you guys are like that but I do have a lot of other products that I want to try so I'm really going to try to do that for you guys. So I love the packaging. This is so nice. Doesn't smell like anything to me, and it's very easy to put in there. Very, very nice. So this is the look, and now let's spray the face. So I'm trying to, dude, I'm so sorry. I keep dropping everything. Okay, so this is the the setting spray that I always use a lot, and you guys have seen this from Flower Beauty. So I'm trying to decide if I just do one side with the, yeah, I'm gonna try to do one side with this one and one side with the Urban Decay to see if it's actually the foundation or the primer. So let's hope I remember that. So we're gonna do this side of the face with the Flower Beauty. Hold on. Let me uh, fan that side and then we'll do the other side. Just gonna use this cardboard I have here for this uh, perfume that I got from the order. And this look came out really, really nice. I really like how it came out. Like you guys know, I am not someone who wears red lipstick. And to let you know, my son came in here real quick to help me with something. And he said, oh, wow, mommy, you look really beautiful. So that's always a plus when my son likes my makeup. When, well, when he likes my makeup and when he says to me that I look beautiful, that means that it's, it's a good look. So on this side of my face, the left side, we're going to use the all-nighter ultra glow so let's always spray first to get it to mist oh, i love the way this one feels more than the flower beauty one and i do like the flower beauty i use it quite a bit so we're gonna see which one is gonna lift more if both sides lift then we know it's the foundation if the left side lifts, then it's the spray. Because I don't think it's the the primer. Because when I used the primer with the Pat McGrath, I didn't have any issues, like I mentioned before. So I'm trying. I'm hitting my face in the process. I really should get a fan, but I always have, like, cardboards and stuff. So I just go with this. So I, I don't really, I don't know. I just haven't bit the bullet to do that. So I think everything is dry. So that is everything, you guys. This is such a pretty look. I like this. I really think that this Madame she probably replicated to be like re 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 woo when she did it with Mac, because I wanted to get that one, but I didn't get to get it. What I ended up doing was I bought it and I gave it to my sister since she wears red lips, and I was gonna get one for myself, but that sold out really really fast. So, anyways, everything that we put on today, I really liked. The only thing that I'm on the defense about, um, which I will update you in the description box, check down below is the foundation if it's gonna lift or not because i think it might be the foundation and this cookie highlighter i know everybody loves it and they rave about it whatever but for me even though it looks popping it looks nice you know what i'm saying um i much prefer my mac one whisper of guilt and i much prefer um my dose of colors one i don't know this one i think is just too like I don't know. I think there's something about it. I can't put my finger on it. I mean, I will use it again. Maybe. I don't know. I'm on the defense about it. I, 
I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really, I'm not really vibing with this color is what I should say. But I like everything else. So I think I'm going to end it there because I'm starting to ramble a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know in the comment section, which I meant to um, ask you, but I forgot what you guys want to see on my channel. You know, like what are you, because I have a lot of ideas. But, you know, you guys are the ones who are going to watch them. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, did you like the way it turned out or not? Or, you know, I'm always open to feedback. So thanks for watching, you guys. And I'm going to let you go. Bye.